Hello, Aquarius single. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you are watching my channel. Um, if you've watched before, I do single and then I do a relationship reading. So I'll do a relationship. Well, I did relationship already for Aquarius. And now this is the single reading. Hello, welcome. Um, you can click like, subscribe. You can share. Make sure if you do subscribe, you um, turn on a bell. So when I do Aquarius uh, career or general or love, you'll get the notification. So just make sure your bell is on. Um, and if it's your first time coming and you just want to watch, I still appreciate you for coming, okay? Okay, single Aquarius. Let's get busy. So usually I do the regular spread, which I've done. And then I do your oracle, which I'll move a little closer so you can see a little bit. Better. Okay. And I usually do, so Oracle, I'll read at the end. I've already picked the cards. I've shuffled. And um, I'm going to do this. This is just your, your regular reading. And then I got two new decks, which is one of them's here. It's for singles and it's for couples. I did two cards out of that deck for you. And then you get to ask me a question. Well, you get to ask the deck a question. And at the end, I'll reveal your answer. A single Aquarius, don't ask nothing too serious. It's just like it's supposed to be fun. Not should you go propose or get married or have a baby or buy a house. Nothing serious. You need a reading for that. Okay? Just like hearty questions. Something fun. Should you cook? Should you wear this? Should you do this? Should you do something? Fun. I'm lighting my sage back because they don't like me today. And it's tripping. Hold on. Okay, y'all. I know y'all like she taking forever. Okay. I'm two minutes in. Let's get busy on your reading. Now, <clears throat> at the head of your reading, single Aquarius, you got the Ace of Wands. This, for some of you, is bored and stuck. That's the energy I'm picking up. Bored and stuck. Canceled dates. Somebody got stood up. Um, This is too intense as well. Like, um, you coming off real serious. And it's throwing off potential suitors. It's like, um, also for someone not having enough energy or enthusiasm when dealing with potential partners. Like, disinterested. You're giving off a vibe that you don't want to be bothered. Um, Spirit said, get in, get in the game and show them your fun side, Aquarius. You know you got a fun side. Okay? You got to live it up and show them. With that, you got the Six of Pentacles. And it is in reverse. This is greed and meaning, meanness. This could be you or potential partners. But I'm feeling more so like you is like is you putting off potential partners because of your greed. Maybe you working a lot or you coming off kind of disconnected. You know, when you don't talk, people think you mean air sign. So don't take it the wrong way. But I know you're a loner and you kind of keep to yourself. But it comes off of you like not interested. Okay. I know a couple of words. So I know how that goes. You got to kind of talk a little bit. So for someone to know. It's okay to open up to you. It's saying be kind and open to potential partners. Allow yourself to be open, meeting, trusting people, but don't be played for no fool. Like, don't don't get played to be no sucker. I ain't say trust them with your love. I just, you know, be cool. You, you can trust them to have a conversation. Trust them to share a laugh. Trust them to be a single potential partner. Get it? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, some of you need to work on yourself before looking for love. It's like lack of confidence for somebody. Um, waiting for someone to come in and provide you with everything you need rather than give up, get the efforts to do it yourself. It's like you waiting on someone to like come save the day, like hero for a, a female Aquarius, and that's not gonna happen. You rather get it yourself because when this person leaves, let's say they pro they provide with finance. Like right now, you in COVID nineteen, and you might be like, "I really wish I could have someone to share the burden with." But when that person leaves, or you get into it with that person, the the stability leaves with them because they provided it. You get what I'm saying? So if you provide your own stability, you don't have to worry about it walking out the door. It can't go nowhere. This is like picking partners for the wrong reason. Um, it also is telling me for somebody, um, 
It could be a hooker you're dealing with, and it could be a Leo Sagittarius or a Leo Sagittarius or a Aries. They could be doing prostitution, doing COVID nineteen, selling their body. Um, and whoever it is, if it is a woman for um for a, a male Aquarius, she'll leave you high and dry. This Queen of Pentacles energy. She'll take you for what you got and leave you high and dry. For others, if this is if you're a female, this just means working on yourself before looking for love, lack of confidence, and like I said, you waiting on somebody to come in with a hero complex to solve all the problems. For a female Aquarius, that's just not gonna happen. You 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 wanna get it yourself, baby. The Hierophant in reverse, unconventional relationship. This is someone that don't want to get married. This is also like gender roles, like maybe. You feel like you more of the man and you really the woman and he's acting like more of the man, the person you dating. Um, and this is someone that just don't want no commitment, no marriage, non-conformity, desire to be different. Is why the Hierophant. The Hierophant means if you do get in a relationship, you're like, man, I want me two girlfriends. Or I want me two boyfriends. Or I want me a boyfriend and a girlfriend. This is unconventional, different. You want something totally outside of the box. Four of Cups. It's upright. This is regret, past relationship mistakes, and love. Missed opportunities. And it's like love could be right in front of you and you wouldn't even know it. Finding love where you least expect it. That is great. That means you sniffing in some of the wrong places. Look at the under the tree. Finding love in all, uh, in all the places you least expect to find. Boredom, frustration. This is a daydreamer and a fan, uh, like fantasizing for some of you. Frustrations and remorse. You're thinking about everything. For some of you, it's depression. You feel like you got time. COVID-19? You got nothing but time to think. Some female is dating a male Scorpio. He is a handful. Uh, it's saying for this card, for a woman, this is either for, if you're a man watching this, this woman has father issues that's leading her to pick destructive partners. So, like, you might be singling out this woman and she might be picking partners because of her father issues. Now, if you're a man, you might have daddy issues and this might be why you're dogging women. Or you might have mama issues. It depends on how you look at it. But this is definitely leading to destructive patterns and choices of partners. It's saying heal. Take the time out to basically get, get it together. Lack of commitment. Taking advantage of. It's like um, lack of monogamy to rebelling. This card is all about rebelling. Going from one partner to the next. Being promiscuous. And for some of you, like I said, it's the Scorpio man involved. Just for some. Not everyone. Five of Wands. This is like your love life is a bit chaotic right now. Because you got so many potential suitors. They everywhere. People competing over you. They want you. Like, it's just a lot. They compete for your attention. And it's, you can enjoy it. Just don't let it go too far. Don't let nobody get hurt. Don't, you know. But who don't like a little attention? Aquarius. Look at them. That's my man. That's my man. That's my man. That's my boo. That's my girl. They, they, they banging it out. It's two of Pentacles. Um, a choice. Between two things. It could be being single and not being single. It could be between two people. It could be between a Scorpio and a fire sign. Um, this is saying be honest if you really want it. Because don't waste nobody's time and don't waste your own. Adapt to changes. Will you adapt to changes to parts of your life that need to be changed in order to have love? Because if you're not, there's no point. There's no point in bringing someone in your life to neglect them. If you don't have time, it's time to be single. But if you want love, it's coming. Just depends on what you want. Just got to be honest with yourself. Aquarius single. The Empress, she's upside down. Lots of potential suitors, but not showing um, them who you really are. Like, you got a lot of potential suitors, but they not seeing the Aquarius, the real Aquarius. You like armored. You, you covered up. You hiding who you are because you don't want to get hurt. So you just playing a field. This is like don't be someone you're not to gain others' approval and love. You don't have to do that. 
Being yourself is just good enough. Lack of growth and confidence. This is also the card of negligence. That could be having too many partners. Like you, you doing too much. So you might want to slow it down. <laughs> you might be doing a little bit too much. Okay? Don't believe every shitty thought you have. It's what this first card says for your um, game. Don't believe every shitty thought you have, single Aquarius. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. I like this one. Lying thoughts. Uh oh, what a Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or quit the fucking job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or quit the fucking job. Might be time. Ooh, Spirit said if you let go of that job, you'll have love. Stop playing. You might have to get a, a more lenient job. The answer to your question is nope. Not sure what your question was, but the answer is nope. And you got Aurora Sophie for your card. Let me look this up. See what she talking about for the Aquarius single. Okay, here we go. Let's get to your Oracle Aquarius. Okay, here we go. Let's see. A way through the struggle has already been created for you. And you are being led onto a path. Your authentic soul shall may be included in recognitions and acclaim, notable success and admiration. Be grateful, but do not be dazzled or distracted by such experiences. Focus on what connects you to your heart and grounds you to your spiritual truth which is particularly love, kindness, and peace. This will allow for success, progress in material worlds without disturbing the sanity of your soul. Okay, Aquarius. Without disturbing the sanity of your soul, single Aquarius. That was beautiful. I love that card. Okay, single Aquarius, this has been your reading till the second, almost third week of May. I'll be back to do it again. I did couples if you want to watch that. If you recently broke up, I don't know if you want to watch both. Some people do. And I suggest you watch your partner's video as well because it always helps to watch their video and put the two together. So, and I'll be here. You can recommend me. Click like, subscribe, share, come back and see me. Um, I do daily reads a day, um, every day, so I'm going to do a daily read um, today, and I'll do one tomorrow. And career in general will be coming up for you guys probably in the next week or so, okay? Thanks for watching. If no one told you today, Phoenix loves you. Bye-bye, Aquarius. Single. Bye-bye.